things started by putting a video on the timeline. Let's come out here and let's add something. Uh, let's open movie. And uh, we'll just need to use a few seconds of it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. And let's add another video track so we can put the animation on top. Okay, next we need an animation. You can go out to Lottie Files and get some free animations. Okay, let's say pick one that you like. Let's say you like this one and check the license on it to make sure it's uh, free for you to use. Sometimes you need to give a credit and you can download it in JSON format. So, yeah, it supports JSON and RAR JSON files. So I already have one downloaded. Let's go to get it. And look at documents, animations. And it's kind of like this thinking guy emoji. And lay that down on the timeline. And now we, most of these animations are gonna have a transparent background. So that's nice. Um, and so you can see, yeah, the video underneath and it's overlaying, you know, quite nicely. And we can work with it just like it's a normal video. For instance, maybe I don't want it to be that quite that long. I can trim it out like this and we can fade it in. If you double click the throbber here, you can uh, make it one second long and, or you can drag it to whatever you want, like longer and let's preview that okay looking good maybe a bit long okay we could also apply shortcut filters on top of it so for instance let's go to size position and rotate and let's move this guy up into the corner, just like that. And now it fades in. So we can already do a little bit of um, work with the animation right here in Shotcut without having to open up the Glaxomate editor, that is. And we can export this now. And take a look at this work. You see it renders and exports.